In this challenge review, we're going to solve the diamond behavior. So to get started, let's first animate our diamond and get it set up in the scene and turn it into a prefab. So to do that, we need to slice this up. Open up your sprite editor by, by making it multiple mode. Go to sprite mode multiple, open up the sprite editor. And we're going to slice this. We can do automatic for this. It may be intelligent enough to grab each square, which it was. Hit apply. Once you've done that, let's create an animation for it by adding the first frame to the hierarchy. Set it to zero or 50 order and layer. And here is our diamond that we're going to collect. And if we want, we can scale this down. So maybe like 0.6, that looks good. So 0.6, I'd say. And then once we have that, what we need to do is rename this to diamond and let's create the animation for it. So here we're gonna create an animation called diamond and we're gonna save it inside of the sprites, effects, animations folder. And we'll save it with our sword and other effects. All right, once we have that, we can then take frame zero through 29, drag it in here and we can go ahead and play that. You know, see here, it's just a little rattly shake. So let's go ahead and make that much slower at about 10 frames per second. All right, and maybe even 15. So here is the diamond that we'll be collecting, and that looks good. All right, once we've done that, save your scene. Let's take this diamond and turn it into a prefab. So drag it into your prefabs folder. That will make it a prefab. We can then remove it from the scene here. And on the diamond, on this diamond, we need to do a few things. For our starters, we're gonna add our diamond script, but also we need to add a circle collider so that we can collect it. We need to make it a trigger so that the player can pass through it. And then also let's add a rigid body to it so that it can detect the collision. Make sure gravity scale is set to zero so the object doesn't fall. Let's save this and open up this diamond script and create the behavior. First thing we need to do is check for on trigger enter. So void on trigger, enter 2D, change collision to other, it's just a variable name. So here I'm gonna check if we hit the player. So if other.tag equals the player, then we wanna be collected. So collect me. So how do we do that? So if, how, do we, how do we collect it? Well, simply we destroy the object to give the illusion that you collected it. So destroy this.gameObject. Now, before we destroy it, we need to say, hey, add value of how many diamonds I'm worth. Well, how many diamonds is it worth? That's a variable. So public int will say gems. All right, so public int gems. And what we can do here is we can assign it a value in the inspector. We'll set it to by a default to have one, but we can assign it in the inspector to have more than one if we want it to. And what we're going to do here is we're gonna say public int gems equals one. When we collect it, we, need, we now need to get a reference to the player component and increment the diamond count by however many gems it collected. So inside our player, we have here a variable for amount of diamonds. We'll say public int diamonds. All right, so here's our diamonds. And then we need to now get an access, we need a reference to that script. So from the diamond script here, if we hit the player, what we're going to do here is we're gonna say player, we'll say underscore or lowercase p player equals other dot get component player. And it's always good to null check this so that we don't get a null reference exception. So here, if we successfully grab the player component, meaning that it's not null, then what do we want to do? If it's not null, we're going to take this destroy code. We're going to destroy the gem because we collect it. And before we do that, we're going to say lowercase player dot diamonds. And we're going to add by doing plus equal the amount of gems. All right, let's save this. Let's go ahead and create a gem for our player to collect. So we're gonna just place this prefab right here. 
we can drag this prefab into the scene view, put it in front of our player. Let's save this. Let's run Unity and test it out. So if we select my player, you'll see here that the amount of gems that we can collect on this specific gem here, this diamond is one. If I change it to five, it would then have a value of five. If we look on our player, all right, you'll see here that we have a variable for diamonds. I have zero. Now if I collect this gem, I now have five diamonds. So we successfully created the diamond behavior. I'll see you guys in the next video.